Dimetophyte is a mold fungi, more commonly known as ringworm. There are three main species of dimetophytes in small animals, where contraction of the disease depends on the species. Firstly, the Microsporum canis is greatly distinguished by its thick walls and are spindle-shaped microconidia, and it is the most common cause of dimetophytosis in dogs and cats. It is zoophilic, adapted to animals, particularly cats, and is frequently zoonotic. Next, the Microsporum gypsium, in comparison to M. canis, has thin walls and a spindle-shaped microconidia. It is geophilic, meaning that it is likely to be discovered in areas where the animal has had direct contact with contaminated soil and is occasionally zoonotic. Finally, the Trachophytes and Mentacrophytes species are largely caused by rodents. They are mostly found as microconidia, are zoophilic, and are frequently zoonotic. All of these species cause fungal infection of the skin and hair and can cause folliculitis. The most common site of infection is the face, ear tip, tail, limbs and feet, specifically the claws. Infectious arthrospores are produced by dermatophytes and can shed onto the hair and spread to survive for a year in the environment. This can then be transmitted through direct contact with infected animals, environment and fomites. Dermatophytes are most prevalent in hot, damp and humid climates and are mostly seen in young, old, stressed or immunocompromised animals, and crowding animals also contribute to the spread of disease. The most effective breeds that are predisposed are our long-haired breeds such as our Persian cats or our Yorkshire terriers. The pathogenesis of the disease begins with the colonization of hyphae in the stratum corneum, which migrates into hair follicles where there is abundant keratin. They then invade the hair shaft and digest keratin to make the hair brittle. The brittle hair then grows, and the hyphae move with it to the skin surface, where they produce other canidia that disperses to amplify the prevalence of disease. The brittle hair then breaks, which causes alopecia. Clinical signs include alopecia, scaling, crusting, erythema, hyperpigmentation, pruritus, and papules. The skin increases the production of keratinocytes in response to fungi, resulting in thickened, scaly skin. The fungi also produces metabolites that initiate an inflammatory response, which causes a lesion to be erythematous. Diagnoses can be made through three different methods. Wood's lamp will fluoresce bright green under UV light due to teratine. However, there may be issues regarding false negatives as not all species will fluoresce and also false positives due to dandruff. The trachogram involves plucking hair from the base to microscopically examine for arthrocanidia. The final method is culture, which is known as the gold standard. Dermatophytosis is generally a self-curing disease and requires no treatment in healthy animals. However, prevention methods include topical antifungal therapy such as shampoo, isoconazole in cats and dogs, and environmental decontamination.